if you get a permit for your protest, it's not really a protest. <laughs> like, it's, it's a gathering. Uh, let's pull up some comments here um, from, the, from the, all the different chats. We have a couple of chats going on. This is from Keith. He said, this guest is definitely getting it, though. Uh, we've become uh, predictable and unpredictable in an unpredictable environment. Actually, before, before you take it off the screen, let me, let me, just for the sake of this clip, put it in context. Uh, Keith is talking about the interview that we did with, um, with A. Raquel Bloss from Progressive and Independent Party. And she said one of her techniques is to make sure that we're unpredictable. The comment from YouTube is saying that, that she gets it because we're living in an unpredictable environment. And, and I think he's absolutely right. We have to do exactly what she said. We have to be quick, we have to be spontaneous, and we have to be unpredictable because if not, then the, our system is 100% designed to uh, absorb any absolutely. of our protests unless we do something, and I hate this cliche, but it's very true, we have to do something out of the box with our protests. Yes, absolutely. There, I mean, as we saw in DNC, in Philly, you and I were there, we were covering it, and where yep. did they box everyone? They box everyone a mile and a half away, yep. in a permitted space, and everywhere else. So the only yep. way you're actually going to make any waves is if it if you're unpredictable. Yeah, I mean, unpredictable, willing to get arrested. Yep. You know, if if your protest requires if 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 you get a permit for your protest, it's not really a protest. <laughs> Like it's it's a gathering, yeah. right? And and they designed it to to stifle to limit the scope of your protests, right? You can only go so far. You go any further, you're going to be met with brute force, right? You yep. remember Philly? You remember like they sent the shock troops, stormtroopers? Like I mean, they came in like the damn Gestapo, yeah, and and jumping shut off it. the back of that bus and rolling out, and then that the one cop who was in charge of the whole thing ran over and told him to get back in the bus because yeah. he didn't see a problem. That was like one of the best moments. I thought of de-escalating the situation from a police officer that I had ever seen in my entire life. And that was the uh, Philadelphia uh, police chief. Yep. I want to put up his name, uh, which 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 was cool, right? It, it, it was, was cool. But and give, and, but the, like the very position, next week, yeah. something else happened where, I, you know, police, uh, an incident of police violence and, and stuff. But, but, um, but the other thing is being over in that position automatically. I mean, it took us, what, an hour and a half to walk to that man. location from where we parked? Bruh. And then on top of that, <laughs> that was like, a, we had to buy you different I, shoes. I had to buy it because I was out there in Timberlands. Yeah. I, was out, I was in Philly with Timberlands thinking, you know, because I've marched in Timberlands. Like, it's, it's no big deal. But they had us so far from everything that it was a good three mile round trip walk just to get to the protest. Right. And, and, and by the time you got there, your energy is done and, and, and they can they can control you a lot better. Right. So and, I, and on top of that, I mean, like what news groups came out there? It was only a local Fox channel that I right. saw. And Jordan, when he came out yeah, uh, from it. TYT, he came out it. briefly and that was pretty much it. And the the local fox guy was trying to paint it as if it was a joke yeah we ran into him at the bar afterwards remember that joke? yeah yeah, was, yeah. anyway